Honolulu City Council is asking HPD what it needs to get a better grip on the recent spike in crime here across Oahu. They're meeting right now. Nikki Shenfeld reports from just outside Honolulu Hale. Resources. That is the big discussion here at Honolulu Hale as city council members are asking law enforcement what they need to help keep the public safe. Chief Ballard simply saying staffing is their biggest issue. From shootings to stabbings to purse snatchings, city council members are asking what can be done to help combat the recent crime wave. It's, it's just a crisis that has finally reached a level where we're all feeling it, whether you're rich or you're poor. To have grandma standing at a bus stop and to be beaten down by people stealing her purse is just unacceptable for Hawaii. Councilwoman Pine says it's also a lack of inspection at ports, a lack of mental health facilities, and drug addiction that's pushing the crime. If you watched New Year's Eve, you saw what, whether you have a positive or negative opinion of, of illegal aerials, it just shows you how many illegal things are getting in to Hawaii at our ports, and we're just not doing enough. We need more police officers, we need places for people who have mental health issues to go instead of going to jail and crowding our prisons. She hopes the legislature and city can come together. Councilwoman Heidi Suniyoshi has introduced two resolutions, one asking the legislature to appropriate funds to acquire the Honolulu Federal Detention Center to address prison overcrowding, and another to ensure that necessary numbers of patrol officers are available for the safety of the public. We need more people to join the police department so we can get that staffing up. Third watch will get a 5% increase um, in, in the number of officers uh, that they have, you know, for, uh, you know, for each watch. And so day watch will stay where they are at right now, which is at 80% staffing, and midnight watch will go to 75%. But once again, that doesn't mean that um, that won't change depending upon the case. And we'll follow up with any new developments from the hearing. From Honolulu Hale, Nikki Schoenfeld, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.